Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action, the first game of the playoffs between Womet and Morton Grove. And we're all set to get it away. We're actually playing this game, even though it's a Womet home game, we're playing it at Morton Grove because Morton Grove Field is uh, relatively dry. And uh, Womet's home field, Duke Childs, is uh, Lake Duke Childs again. And a single for Cerniglia. And Cerniglia with a leadoff single. T.J. Bauer at the batter. If uh, Wobetz, home field, Duke Childs, this right field is underwater. But uh, Highland Park, the whole baseball field is under about four or three or four, maybe five feet of water. You just barely make out that there's a baseball field there. Big time flood. Like an eight hour rain of about eight to as much as 11 inches of rain through the northern suburbs. There goes the runner, there goes the throw. Not in time, stolen base. Pitch is high and tight for a ball. Top half of the first inning. First game of the playoffs. Womack comes in as the number one seed, having won the regular league foul ball. And strike three. Come looking. One away. Rich Stone, the batter. And a pitch outside for a ball. This ball field doesn't have a lot of depth to it. You gotta shoot through the screen and there isn't a lot of room. Short right field fly ball catch and the throw to the third will keep the runner honest. Back in second, two down. Sam Wallace the batter. And now they're going to put in the courtesy runner over there in uh, Martinez. So we got a bit of strike. Break two. Set to the outside. A little too far outside a ball. Ground ball, second baseman, up with it. Over to first, over to the top half of the first inning. No runs, a hit, and a man left. Go to the bottom half of the frame, and Kyle Capone will lay it off for Womack. Capone, Griff Ryan, and Henry Padlinski do it. Ball ball. Top third of the batting order for the Wilmot Waves. Outside a ball. Line shot. Caught by the shortstop. 
Good job going to his right to get that one. One away. Here's Griff Ryan. And a pitch inside the ball. And low it outside the ball. Ball two. Ball three, make it. Three and out. And ball four. So Griff Ryan aboard via the walk. And Henry Pilotsky, the batter. Strike, strike what? Try it outside a ball. And in there for a strike. Patrick Gentleman on deck. Ryan will lead off first. And the pitch fouled away. Yeah, fly ball, left fielder. Takes it for the out. Two down, and Patrick Gentleman, the batter. And takes a ball. Well, Matt has a double header today. Because of the rain the other day, forced cancellation. We'll play Evanston in the second game. Ground ball. And 6 3 on the put out, and we're done with the first inning. At the end of one, no score between Martin Grove and Walmart. We'll be back. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to today's drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning. Benish leading it off and follows one off. Patrick Gentleman on the mound. And a base hit. Lead off single to start the second. Roma the batter. Throw to first. Put her back. Strike on the outside corner. And a ball outside. the first and the runner back and a bunt and it's a beauty everyone's going to be safe yeah. little bunt single two out and nobody out Augustine the batter it's a pitch outside the ball Grove Mustangs. And their home field is Niles North. Home of the Vikings. 
down the road. Next uh, high school south of Lutrer West, or Northfield campus if you prefer, not counting Loyola. It's a ball low. Public high school, how about that? Say it that way. That's public high school. South of the new trip up. High and outside of all. Handball four. So the Mustangs have a little something going. The corral is full. And here's Hall. Strike, strike one. Strike, strike two. No place to put him. Third baseman. He's pulled in for the waves. And the pitch is low ball. It's, uh, Aaron Stewart over there at third. <laughs> and strike three. Bottom one. So one down. And Tuckman the batter. <laughs> and he takes a strike on the outside corner. Ball that side. I got a miss. I may have gotten a little piece of that. Sounded like it a little bit. And a ball that side. No place to put him. The corral is full. Mustangs on every base. But out. And foul ball. High and outside the ball. Ball four, that walks home a run. And it's one another thing, Morton Grove. Back. Oh, I take that back. This is Martinez. Extra hitter. Martinez. Strike. Top of the batting order and Sudiglia. Singled his first time up. Out the field, single to right. And outside the ball. Top of the second inning. And wide shot, that's a base hit. We'll bring home another run. Make it 2-0 Fairport Grove. 
T.J. Bauer in the batter. High pop up foul and back out of play here. There's a big net here. Taking the football field just behind us. There's a strike. Oh, two. Another one fouled off the screen. Outside of ball. Bases are still loaded. And fall back. And outside of ball. I think we've got a full count here. Yeah, fly ball. Right fielder waits. Takes it for the out. We're done with the top half of the second inning. But Martin Grove scored two and leads it two to nothing over the Wilmette Waves. Eddie Harvey putting it off for Womet in the bottom of the second. Eddie Harvey, Brian Kerwin, and John Robinson. Fly ball. Right fielder reaches up to take it for the out. One up, one down. Here's Brian Kerwin. Right on the outside corner. Ground ball, right to the shortstop. Two bouncer. The first, two up, two down. And here's John Robinson. Strike, strike one. Strike three. Got third strike on the first. They got him. And we're down with two. It's two nothing. Morton Grove leading Wilmette. We'll be back. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive now. Text later. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning, Martin Grove with the lead. Rich Stone, letting it off. Pitch outside the ball. We hope you enjoy our broadcast wherever you may be, on our cable or internet service. And on the World Wide Web on YouTube. There's a fly ball, and that's going to get out past the center fielder, Eddie Harvey. And Stone going to go in the second with the double. Here's Sam Wallace. Straight. And a 
Tips off liner, caught by the shortstop. Tips on the bag, and it's a double play. Well, Dane Quayle had a nice job of the shortstop. Not only catching it, but stepping right on the bag. Hello! Boy, that was a real wake-up call. Benish. Doing that to us. There's a ball in sight. Ball. Make it a miss, strike three, and that was the top half of the third. No runs a hit, but nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the third. And Aaron Stewart. Take the strike. Stewart, Evan Hummel, and Don Strickland. Two up. And a miss, strike. And strike three. One away. Here's Evan Hummel. And strike, strike one. Bottom of the third. First game of the playoffs. And ground ball right to the first baseman. A couple of steps uh, on the bag for out number two. Don Strickland, the batter. And first pitch inning, ground ball shortstop. Over to first, and the Waves go quietly in the third. At the end of three, it's 2 nothing. Martin Grove leading ball back. And we'll be back. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Be supportive, not intrusive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning, and Roma leading it off for the fly ball, a little pop up. Take him by the shortstop to the out. One up, one down. Here's Augustine. And straight. <laughs> and this blowing inside the ball. Well, be sure to join us. You're on the network. The baseball playoffs now. Get a little excited. Ball ball. Nice pop up. Ball and taken by the third baseman. Stewart foul territory, round number two. Here's Hall. Football just around the corner. In New York was our first game of the season. The Trevians travel to Gurney, play Warren. 55 footer, round set. What? Ground ball. Second baseman Evan over to first. And a quick one, two, three in the top of the fourth. That way home with the ball again. And it remains 2 0. Martin Grove letting go back. Now, Capone, pitch inside the ball, back to the top of the batting order for Wallet. Boys yet to have a hit today. Fly ball. Good away. And up for the out. One up and down. Here's Griff Ryan. And a pitch inside the ball. High of all. Foul ball right down the line. Third baseman has a long throw in time. Two 
two up, two down, and Henry Pilonski, the batter. And a ball outside. Off the field, and that's going to drop in for the base hit. Single. Here is Patrick Gentleman. Not a first runner back. Metro Chicago Sports Network affiliates, New Trier Television, Comcast, Northern Cook County, Highland Park Access, Southeastern Lake and Northeastern Cook County, AT&T Uvers, WOW, RCN Cable, and Selected Games on YouTube. Respect, sportsmanship, citizenship. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fifth inning. Tuckman leading it off. Mark Grove. Strike. Apart from that second inning, it's been a very quiet ball game here. Maybe it's just that we're getting close to the dog days of summer. The ball outside. High and outside. Struck out his first time up. Outfield playing pretty much straight away and somewhat shallow. Wouldn't bad see what they are there. The strikes we do. Strike three. One away. Here's Shaniglia. He's been on base both times. He's been up there. Five hits that Martin Grove has. He has two of them. Outside of all. Whoa! Hey. Tie ball from first. Back, back, back. 
got away, but nobody, nobody where that ball was. This is great. Kerwin. And in the dirt, a ball. Opposite the batter. Ground ball, short stop, charges in. And whoops. Uh, whoopsie, the error, and Robinson aboard. Here's Aaron Stewart. He falls one off. Catch low ball. done with five and it still remains to nothing. Martin Grove letting go back. We'll be back. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive at dusk, dawn, or night. Make sure you turn on your lights. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the sixth inning in the middle of the batting order. Two up for the Port Grove Mustangs. Rich Stone leading it off. He doubled deep his last time up. Well, not the greatest footwork, but the catch made out in center foul number one. 
Sam Wallace. Better. for the out. And we're down with the top half of the sixth inning. Time's a wasted for a moment. They go to the bottom half of the sixth. Do nothing. Morton Grove leading Wilmette. Kevin Hummel leading it off. Takes the ball, ball one. Going outside the ball, 2-0. Fortunately, the sun's not out this late in the afternoon. And it gets later in the afternoon that because of the southeast to northwest orientation of this ball field, the sun really gets in everyone's eyes. There's a strike. But it gets behind the big condo building out there on the other side of Eden's Expressway. And ball four. So Hummel aboard via the walk. Here's Don Strickland. And a 55 footer. And Hummel over to second. Set to right. Single for Strickland. Dropping in. And runners at the corners. Here's Kyle Capone. Courtesy runner is Matt Roth.
pop right to the first baseman and the out. And Griff Ryan, the batter. Runners at the corners. And Ryan with a wide shot, single to right. And it's a 2-1 ball game now. And Hubble holds the score on the single, RBI single from Griff Ryan. Henry Pedlitzki, the batter. Off the two on the day. And he's got a base hit single. And that's going to score the game tire. And not enough at two. Here's Patrick Jodowin. And he sends a blast. And that's going to be a gapper out there. Out past the center fielder. And Jodowin in the second of the double. And another run home. And Momata has now taken the lead. And here's Eddie Arby. Out of ball, so it is that quick. Well, Matt has taken the lead. And Harvey sends a blast. And down the line, fair ball. And Harvey in the second with the double. And two more runs home. And well, Matt. Now leads five, two. Here's John Robinson. And a fly ball. And a catch out there. I, that was Brian Kerwin. He flew out to center. Here's John Robinson. Got goofed up on my scorebook here. A little ground ball. And a whoopsie by the third baseman. And everybody's safe. Runners at the corners. Here's Matt Roth. Heading for Aaron Stewart. So, well, Matt now leads 5-2. to two, A five-run right outburst here in the bottom of the sixth. Opportune wise. A little stolen base. For Robinson, uncontested. The two in scoring position. Oh, yeah. And Roth hit by the pitch. And the surf's up. Waves on every base. With two out. And second time of the inning. Evan Hummel bats. As he waves a batter around. And a ball low. And ground ball. Shortstop takes it, steps on the bag, and we're done with the inning. And not before the Wilbent Waves do some damage and take the lead 5-2 to two as we go to the 7. We'll be back with more. The home of North Shore High School Sports, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Plan to arrive. Don't drink and drive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the seventh inning. And Augustine leading it off for the Mustangs. Augustine Hall and Tuckman. Do up. There's a strike. And a ball high. What I want. The count. And the ball outside. Well, Matt has a double header here. 
Morton Grove only one game. As we said, the schedule for the playoffs got screwed up a little bit by the heavy rain we had. Actually, it was Tuesday night. This is Thursday. Everything's all still kind of washed out in places. Ball four. Lead off walk to Augustine. Neutral field unplayable. The Evanston field unplayable. And the Highland Park field may not be playable until next year. I mean, they got two. They did a aerial shot from one of the local television stations of the Highland Park baseball field, and it was like four or five feet of water on, on that baseball field. Foul ball. And a strike, strike three. Conlon. Here's Tuckman. He's been on base twice, both by a walk, and now a ground ball, shortstop, and a whoopsie. Didn't feel it cleanly. I think he was partially thinking about what he was going to do with the ball once he got it. So two on. And a line shot right at the second baseman. That's two away, and it's T.J. Bauer. Two on, two out. And Bauer bats as the last hope. of the Martin Grove Mustangs. Fisted off, foul ball. And a ball. Straight. Ground ball right to the first baseman. Steps on the bag and the ball game is all over. And the Walmart Waves come back to win this one by the final score of uh, five to two. We'll be out here a few minutes earlier. Final word on this ball game. For Wilmette, five runs on six hits, two errors. They were struck out just two times. They were walked just two times. Wilmette left six on base, and they did have one stolen base. They had an uncontested one in the sixth inning. For Morton Grove, two runs, six hits, two errors. They were struck out five times, walked four. They did leave eight on base and one. Stolen base. You can watch this game again on demand on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody.